just maybe just introduce yourselves and tell us what your John's Park name was. <laughs> Uh, my name is, uh, my John's part name, Angela Kelly. I was born in 1959 to my mother, Chrissy Kelly, and my father, Eddie Kelly. Uh, my father was a male nurse in St. Otterings. And those, my mother was a, a nurse as well, but in those days you had to, when you, when you get married, you had to leave work. There was no, you know, no going back. They met, they met in the hospital? They met in the hospital, yeah. And what was her maiden name? Kennedy, from Griffith Place. Yeah. So they were Waterford family? Waterford, my father was from Bally Truck. Yeah, but um, all, sorry, sorry no, all my father's people were all living in Johns Park and loads of my mother's sisters and brothers were all living in Johns Park as well. Oh, so so you're real, real we're close, close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they met, they met up in work? Up in work, yeah. And uh, did, you, did they ever tell you any story about how they met? Or, uh, no, they never, my father died very, we were very young, I was six when my father died. Uh, my father died on Sunday the 1st of May. And I made my first communion the following Sunday. I said to my that. brother, Joe, yeah. Uh, it was a week. And in those days, they used to have black mantillas and uh, diamond, black diamonds on sold into their I remember coats. being that young, going into the church. My sister made a communion with you and um, going yeah. into the church. And my mother, Saint, was, look at that little girl who made her communion. Her daddy died last, year, last week. week. Yeah. I still yeah. see that. I can still mm. vividly remember that. Joe, my brother, my oldest brother, Joe, was eight when my father died. He was spina bifida. He was in a wheelchair. Then I was six. Danny would have been four. John was two. And Anthony was nine weeks. So... That was just tough. My mother, sure, she was a legend, wasn't oh, she? Lady. Never complained, no. never cribbed, never. You'll always find somebody worse off. You'll always find somebody worse off. They were famous words. Mm -hmm. But she had a tough. She had a tough life. And how did that? I mean, obviously that was a huge trauma for you. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, can you remember what that was like? I mean, what was? I remember the morning. It was Sunday morning, and I was sitting on the step. My next door neighbour, Trees O'Brien, was sitting with me, and I remember my uncles, my my father's brothers, coming into the house, and my mother screaming, and I said to Linda, or Trees O'Brien, I think my dad is dead. I'll always remember it, and sure he was. Oh, was was he sick? Yes, he was sick. Okay. Uh, some kind of uh, perforated ulcers or something that it'd be second nature now. That, you know, that was 1966. Mm. Tough times, mm. but and, and 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 then obviously then there was no income coming into the house. My mother would have had a pension from the hospital because he was working for the health board at the time. Yeah, he was night superintendent on up in Otterance, in St Otterance. Yeah, but he was a great man. Going on stories people were telling, um, he used to bring the the patients down for their dinner every Saturday. He used to come down the fields. We were at, right at the back of John's Park, overlooking the mental. And they used to all come down. She used to be hiding, we were terrified of them. But they were lovely. <laughs> they were lovely people. My father used to bring her in for their dinner on a Saturday. And did your mother go back to work then? No, no. In those days, sorry. In those, in those days, they did, no women with children worked. Okay. So she didn't go back to work? No, no. So she stayed, stayed looking after the family? Looking after the family, yeah. Okay. Yeah. She was, she was great. Tough as regards finances. Oh, I'm sure it was. You know, there was there was four of us, like, and she she, she managed. They all managed then. And neighbours were great. Oh, Jeannie Mac, and all as I said, all my cousins were all around. We were three seven five St John's Park. The other Kellys were three seven one. My aunt Nora was one three eight. My uncle Danny was sixty eight. We're all St John's Park. Yeah, yeah, very very. I'm very close. Good, good, good people. And then, <coughs> Catherine, you're you're knocking around the same time. So what was your, were you, what's your maiden name? My maiden name is Catherine Finn. Finn. Um, we were living up right across the road from the Butler Community Centre. Um, and your mum and dad, where were they from? Um, my dad was from Phillips Street and my mother was from Clashway Place. Um, so again, real Waterford? Oh, real Waterford, yeah. Okay. Born and bred in Waterford. Both, I think my mother was actually, yes, yeah, she was born in Waterford. But her father, my mother was, her father, her mother died on the birth of a baby when my mother was only three. So she lived with an aunt in, in Clashway Place. But I think she was originally from Kilmacow. You know, that way someplace. Okay. But yeah, we're all, uh, all us were born and bred in John's Park. And your parents, where, where did they meet? Um, I suppose up around, I mean, Phillips Street and Clashway Place are kind of next to one another. 
Um, my father worked in clover meats all his life, and my mother was confectioned by trade. Confectioner? Yeah, yeah. She worked. She started off in Hickey's Bakeries um, when she a, a young girl, but she kind of always baked from the house and. Great, yeah. Always baked in our house. There was always cakes and whatever. And all the neighbours had cakes. And all the neighbours had everybody. cakes, yeah. So you were obviously very um, popular when you were small. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Everyone would always talk about my mother's Chester bread and her, her butterfly cakes when we're talking about her young days. Yeah, yeah. People always bring that. We used to love going to your house because it was yeah, always, always get cake. cakes. Yeah. We used to love going to the clearies, that was a meat. Yeah, but see, we had meat we, too because my father worked in, in clover. clover. Yeah, you, you know everything. what I mean? So, yeah, well, well, oh, well. What did he do in Clover? Which he worked on the sausage, sausage loft. I think he was like, in charge hand on the sausage loft. He, I think he was the only man with a crowd of women up there. But he worked there all his life. All his, and his father before him worked there. Um, I should have had a raw deal out of Clover after in the end. I think, I think after... Forty odd years there. I think they had eight thousand redundancy. I remember four thousand redundancy, which was terrible at the time. You know, yeah, it was absolutely terrible. And going into work every morning six o'clock, and you wouldn't see him until six or seven in the evening. So they worked. They had to work with big families. You know, when you were kids, like you went to Yorkshire. Yeah, yeah. So what was the Yorkshire like in those days? The class distinction was a yeah. big thing, in, in as yeah. I as far as back as I can remember. Yeah, mostly with the nuns. The oh, the nuns were, were terrible. The, 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 the nuns teachers were. We had a Miss Cal was her name. Oh, she was lovely. Her husband used to teach in Nunsoy, and I had her in first standard, second standard. I had her from first yeah. standard to sixth standard. We had yeah. her every year. She was lovely. There was no yeah. class distinction. Before. I actually remember one time we had um, Mother Ursula. Mm. But there was a girl in her class by the name of Antoinette Phelan and her mother was a teacher in the school, but Antoinette Phelan's pen went missing. And there was five of us kept back from John's Park and we were stripped to look for this girl's pen. We were stripped to her underwear to look for this girl's pen. They didn't find the pen on us. I don't know if they ever found the pen. But that'll always stick, stick in, mind. in my mind yeah. about that. You'll never forget that. The pen, uh, for a pen, you know. It yeah. was. It was terrible back then. They wanted yeah. to suspend me one time. They said that there was three girls cycling down the, the folly, three abreast. Um, now, there wouldn't have been many cars in those days. Yeah. And I was delighted. I thought it was after winning a bike or something. I never had a bike. And I, my mother went down and she said, why would she be cycling down the folly? Like, I'm from... She had some mistaken identity to help me at all. Yeah, yeah. And I was saying, have I a bike? I was delighted. I was a child. But you were giving help? Oh, yeah, they were saying that was dangerous. Oh, they were terrible. Oh, God, they wanted us suspended because um, we were driving to cycling dangerously and we were going too fast. And, oh, they were murder, but sure, it wasn't me at all. Yeah. But when they realised who it really was, they weren't suspended at all because they, oh. were, they, were, they thought it was someone from John's Park. Oh, okay. <laughs> and... and you you said earlier on that there was three different uniforms up there. Yeah, there was two in, in... My mother used to be going mad over it. I think there was a St Angela's... As far back as I can remember, there was a St Angela's and then the Ursula. And I think St Angela's were the boarders. And they had a different uniform to us. That I think one was... St Ursula's was the primary, and St Angela's the secondary. But in, two, in one year, they changed it twice. My mother used to talk about it all the time. Yeah. We had to get the few pounds together to buy a uniform, and then they changed the one no, from white to I, ro- I, red. I remember being having a different uniform to other girls. Mm. Can't remember now that now. Uh, yeah. Because you were in the free school. Because, yeah. Probably. Yeah. Maybe. The board, the boarders probably. Yeah. Yeah. They would probably be, they'd have the money. And then obviously, Elton said John's power for that time was hundreds of children. Uh, all around the same age. Mm-hmm. So was it a good crack? Oh, great We used to have great fun. We were living the, like the end, where the Butler Community Centre is now, just a bit up for that was the end of John's Park and the rest was countryside. And we'd go out, we'd be, well, we'd be sent out for hours mm-hmm. every day, hundreds of us. Mm-hmm. With, you'd have every child in a pram going out the road, you'd be told not to come back to the teacher. Two or three in the one Out pram. to Black Caps and yeah. out to Mary Nolan's picking... It, uh, you'd have to bring tadpoles. home oh, tadpoles, yeah. and you'd have to bring home uh, blackberries, of course, to make jam or blackberry tart. Or, but we'd be gone for the whole summer. You'd be gone for hours. 
we used to go up the knock. We were we were at the back of John's Park. There yeah. was Paddy's Lane. Go picking blackberries and up the knock we used to go. We used to be like that hours yeah. and hours. Got the meters. But we'd be up at the there's a there was a pond up there catching frogs and my mother used to be too bad because she could see she could see us from the from the the, sit, the kitchen window. She'd be looking up at us and being sure that. But they were very little. Yeah. You know. Or now and again you'd be giving a couple of bob to go up to the mental up to your town swimming pool. Uh, yeah, yeah. Twin swimming yeah. your town pool. We used to go down to buy broken biscuits. Broken biscuits and Jackie or Egan speak. Big tins you don't the front of them, all the biscuits. They were, were half price when they were broken. Yeah. used to get loads. Well, you went to Jackie for a penny fag and you used to have this tin box and he'd open the box and you'd put your hand in for the fag and he'd close the button. You could be lucky to pick out a cigarette with a tip on it. And more often than not, you got an old woodbine or something, you'd be <laughs> <laughs> and a match. Oh, oh, they were great old times. Great times. Must oh, say. What kind of things would you buy in the shops for your kids? Did you get comics and all that kind of stuff? We used to get the Bunty and the Judy, and then someone else would get something else, and you go around we John's Park swapping. swapping. My mother used to have uh, an account in Kennedy's in Johnstown. She used to get the, the magazines, uh, the boys would get um, the Victor. Yeah. I'd get, I'd get the, um, the Jackie. The Judy or the Jack, Jackie. The, the old you yeah. get, you get. Jackie was a big, for yeah. the bigger one, the Kathy and Claire. But we'd page. swap them. Oh, we'd for go around swapping. Forever. Or every swapping. Christmas you'd get an annual and yeah. you'd go around swapping Swap the, the annuals. annuals. Mm. And what about music? I mean, would, would you be aware at that stage of, like, we say, the Rolling Stones? And oh, Radio Stones. Luxembourg. Okay. Mm. Trying to get the frequency Slade. on the radio. I love Slade. Those yeah. Slade. The basic Slade, rollers. Yeah. Basic rollers. We had, um, the, we used to go to a disco every Monday night over in the Sacred Heart. It was a chapel. It was just up from the Ursuline and there was a little chapel there and they turned it into a youth club. Uh, Father yeah. Corn used to yeah, run it. Yeah, And Eddie Coyley. Do you yeah. remember Eddie yeah. Coyley? But yeah. every Monday night there was a disco over there. It used to be a great crap. But someone burned it down and ruined the whole... We used to have great times over there. Oh, it used to be yeah. great, yeah. The love stories began... Over. Oh, that's where I love used to work in the began. mineral bar. I used to work in the mineral bar over there. My Uncle Danny used to be uh, a bouncer. <laughs> that's <laughs> right, yeah. And they used to have just a mineral bar. Yeah. I used to sell the lemonade over there. I used to get... I think it was... Temps. <laughs> but I was working in Woolworths then as well, and I was only, oh God, I must have been only 12 when I was working in Woolworths. Um, that was a great job. Like weekend? Yeah. Okay. So there was no, uh, just, short, just then, I think Friday night started to come in. They used to close later on a Friday night. Friday night and a Saturday morning. I don't know what, I used to get a couple of pence. But it was oh, lovely, it was a lovely little job. And was that kind of normal that people got part time jobs as soon as they Oh, could? yeah. There was plenty, as soon as you could, yeah. yeah. It's my first part of job was in Besco's in Ballybrick and my grandmother lived in Phillips Street. Yeah. And she got us the job in yeah. Besco's in Ballybrick. She'd walk in, hate it, a couple of bob a week. Sure, you'd have to give your mother the best part of it. I worked at Dower's. Yeah, yeah. Dower, I worked at Dower's for a while. Kelly, yeah. Nanny Kelly got me a job in Dower's. Mm -hmm. I think so much now. And then the games out here when you were kids, I mean, obviously the girls probably stuck to themselves, the boys stuck to themselves. Like, yeah, at younger uh, ages. Yeah. So what kind of games would the girls play? TTs, TTs, <laughs> big box skipping and uh, follow the follow the leader. You'd be out playing for hours, big ropes, and you'd have hundreds of you. You'd go in and you'd follow. You could run up all around John's, up yeah. around Father Pat's. And hundreds of you playing. Remember, we'd, there'd be loads of us. Red Rover, Red Rover, Red Rover, we'd Red be all Rover. Holding hands and be two teams. Yeah. And you'd say Red Rover, Red Rover. We call Catherine over. She'd yeah. have to run to try and break the hands that you'd be catching. Yeah. Be the, the, the rope on the swings or yeah. the, 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 the pole. on the poles, oh, yeah. they were great. And then there was, uh, if Wimbledon was on, you'd get a new tennis racket. Oh, yeah. They all out on the street playing tennis. Then yeah. if the horse racing, um, Grand Ashton. You'd have the sweeping brush going you'd around. Have, you'd have a little, <laughs> these little, little hedges and then you put a basin of water behind the head. That was the water jump. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or do you remember the canes? You just go at the majors and, and get then, the canes with the and pegs And then the on. Olympic Games would be on. Everybody would be walking around on yeah. their hands. There'd be not many handstands and cartwheels. Yeah. Uh, every time, time there was something. Yeah. The soccer. Oh, should God. I had a brother in a wheelchair, Joe. He used to always be on goal. They'd be all mad for Joe to be on goal because they couldn't get... He used to jump out of the wheelchair to save the ball. He was so competitive. Yeah, wasn't he? he was. Yeah, he'd jump out of the wheelchair. Joe's out of the wheelchair again. The scared mother have to run and push him back. Lift him back into the wheelchair. <laughs> Yeah, he was brilliant. And, yeah. then, and then, you know, you mentioned the disco and all that, but where, where else did the boys and girls meet up and all that? Up the field, with it, where, where the community centre is now, that we lived across the road from that, that was all fields. And they used to be cutting the grass, you'd be making your own little houses yeah. in each grass. <laughs> but you'd be playing kiss and chase. And I used to play kitchen, kiss and chase, and I used to pretend to fall, hoping that somebody, just to I jump over me and follow somebody. I used to be terrified to kiss, kiss someone and catch, but I didn't want to be kissing anybody. Oh, I, I used to want to be. 
And I used to pretend I fell and they used to jump <laughs> over me and follow someone. <laughs> Oh, they were pretty old. They were pretty oh, yeah. old. Innocent, uh, innocent, yeah. innocent, innocent days. Times. Not yeah. like it is now. You I mean you'd never see a kid out playing skipping or we used to rolling then, the dolls? Then I used to John. Actually, John Brady came up to the house one day. I used to play camogie for Aaron's own. I was a good camogie player in the day. And John said, "Would I train the, the kids, the girls, for a camogie, a camogie team?" And I said, "Yeah, well, so myself and my boyfriend at the time and my husband now, Peter, we used to train them. Sure, I was only about fourteen. And the, the, the kids were probably 11, 10. Yeah. But you could have that up to 60 children up there training. Yeah. They loved it. There were Sandra Sheridan, Linda Sheridan, yeah. Eleanor Kennedy, Lucy Jacob. Oh, my God, who else used to be? Gemma Sheridan. Oh, there'd be hundreds up there. But hundreds the of children. The whole thing about older girls would look after all the younger ones. Oh, yeah. yeah. And they wouldn't be yeah. nailed. That's very common, huh? Yeah. Years well, ago, yeah. you'd think you were years older than them, but... But you weren't, weren't. the same age. I used to mind you, mind you. I'm only two years older than you, but I didn't realise yeah. that at the time. Yeah, it's babysitting, and you'd yeah. be... Yeah. Near enough the same age yeah. now. Mm. It's gas. It's gas, yeah. Funny, yeah. yeah. You'd feel you were years yeah. older than them. But when you get older, it's nothing. When you're younger, it is, yeah. you know? And then what kind of, uh, where did you start working then? You mentioned uh, Dara's. My, f- my first job was in Dara's, just weekends, and then I was in Woolworths. I was in Dunn's. Then I got the job in the glass factory, best job, best job in the town at the time, sure. Yeah, it was, yeah. And then when the glass closed there, I'm, I'm working in Arkeen, I'm working out in Arkeen now, 25 years. And, and in the glass, what did you do? I was in, I'm a knocker off in the blow one. They used to be blowing the, the glass and I'd knock it off. It'd be on a big, big steel pole. And you'd have a, a piece of wood, you'd just wet it, and knock it into a conveyor belt as it's going along. And, mm. like, was that very hot there? Very, very hot. Very, <laughs> very hot. It, like, no, no, it was, wasn't as bad for us as it was for the blowers. Now, they, they, God, it just be so hard mm. hot. They'd yeah, just start to go around giving them some, some kind of um, salt tablets. Yeah. Sweating so much then in, in very warm summer. Yeah, then they used to close for two or three weeks. Then the the real ha- the, they used to close for the, the, the holidays, the real warm summer, which was great, great job, you know, very very mm-hmm. good. And would you remember was that in Johnstown you started? No, K- uh, Kilbarry. Kilbarry okay. Bobby Bobby Mann, another John's Parrot man, living in Beechwood Avenue, and Shawnee Goody, they would have been our supervisors. Shawnee is a John's Parrot man as well. Yeah, she's the majority of people out there were John's Park. Loads. Yeah, it was a big. Was it? Wouldn't it? I mean. Like Clover Meads get mentioned a lot, mm. Water Glass gets mentioned mm-hmm. a lot. Yeah. In paper and different yeah. industries associated. Yeah, yeah, I got three jobs in the one one week. I got a job in Crumit and Schubert. Um, I got the job in the glass factory. No way else. There was another job I got somewhere out in the state as well. And the, I got three jobs in one week, so obviously it took easy. The, glass. the jobs were easy to come by. Oh, they were very job easy. Start oh, you could, job. yeah. Easy well, come by then. It was, mm. yeah. 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 And Catcher, yeah. where did you work? And you said you started down in. Yeah. I started in Besco's in Barry Britton. Oh, God, I was only about 14, I'd say. Um, I hated it. Oh, I'm, I hate it. This be a, a manager up there by the name of Ned Dargan. That's Glass. Glass. I remember him. <laughs> it's a lovely it supermarket. Left leave. It was, you have a job, and you mm. know, it, it, there was no way we left leave that job. Um, my father used to say, You're not lying in bed here all day, girl. Yeah. Off to work with you. And yeah. that was the way it was. And then I worked in Crumbuck and Schubert. Worked out there for about five years before I got married. And I went back there actually after I got married. Then I went to Oregon's. I was in Oregon's for oh, years. How was that that whole thing again that you had to leave when you got married? No. Okay. But the, the law no, changed. No, those, those, then the yeah, law, the law changed, changed after that. Okay. Um, I always worked. All my married life. Oh, the kids were young. Mm. I always. So did you. And I did, yeah. Always yeah, worked. worked. You know, the law changed after that. Yeah. And rightly so. Yeah. And you said you worked in Jack O'Regan's. I worked in O'Regan's for years. My sister actually still works there. She's working there about 40 years, I'd say. But I worked in... Like, both of you, would you remember uh, any good characters from way back? Like, I mean, I know you were probably small. Oh, we'd remember them all, then, <laughs> Nanny Row. Yeah, I remember, I remember sitting Row. on the wall outside our house one day, Nanny Row coming up the road, and I was so afraid of her. I stuck to the wall, but when she got near me, I said, hello, Nanny Row. Didn't know that was her nickname, and she pushed me off the wall and he broke my neck. <laughs> just pushed me, she, she was rough. So she and yet, like that name, oh no, everyone just, just called her Nanny. Well, Nanny Row, just no, she didn't like that name, but she was, look, she was, she had a rough old life too. It was she only did. years after you'd yeah, hear about all those yeah. things, but we were terrified of her. If you'd knock, play knock a dolly, you'd knock on Nanny Row's door, oh, you'd be petrified if she caught you. <laughs> you think she was going to eat you. <laughs> 
Um, oh, there was a load of characters. Uh, Who else would you be? Uh, was there anyone else that you were scared of, like when you were small? Um, uh, we were terrified of Johnny Rubberlegs. The man Mr. Gamble didn't say he's nick, but he's probably was drunk and he'd be up the road and he'd be falling and oh, we'd be terrified. Um, yeah, well, there wasn't. Because you wouldn't know what he would do next time. No, but there was a lot of characters in John's Remember, Park um, at the time. Remember, up at the top of John's Park where I was, um, Goona Widger. Goona Widger. The cat woman we used to call her. Uh, yeah, but she was a lovely woman too. She was a lovely woman. Yeah, but you not her door now. Not her door now. Lots of cats. Lots of cats. Mm, she was a spinster. Her sister used to live there with her. She lived next door to me and to me. The cat woman, we used to call her, we used to be terrified of her too. I thought she was a witch. Knock at her door. <laughs> <laughs> and, and there was a woman out here too, they used to do fortunes. That's Miss Stiles. Yeah, That's she's Stiles second, she's second down, down, down from... We were living in the top of John's Park and we had to move down because Joe, my brother, in the wheelchair was getting... There was three steps up to the up to, the, to get into the house. My mother used to do, kind of pull the chair up, you know, ramps or anything like that. So a house went down around the corner on the flat. So we moved down two doors from Nancy Dial. Um, we were 3 to 8 and they are 3 30. But um, as she was nice, Nancy Dial was nice. She was, yeah, she was, she was, she was Centric. Centric. actually. She used to come in here when I started here first, I remember. And there was a big, heavy woman came in here one night and she was sitting at the table and she was having a few drinks and Nancy Doyle kept staring at her and the woman said for you know you're looking at me all night and you're mm. really ma- embarrassing me and she said I can tell your fortune she said first of all she said uh, you need to stand up away from the table she said, the woman said the whole world can see that <laughs> I need to stand up because I have weight on me but um she'd go around here in the night time and she'd be tell she'd be staring at people and she'd say you have a problem but she wouldn't tell you a problem until you give her a few bob she said it to me one time in the doctor's. I was sitting in the doctor's waiting room and she said to me, she came over and tipped me on. She said, you know, I would have liked her now. She said to me, you will always be happy, but you'll never have money. And I said, could you change it a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> could you make me a little bit unhappy and give me a few bob? <laughs> said, That's what she said yeah. to me, yeah. She well, tipped me on the Oh, they were here. They came from near yeah. and far. Well, they did oh, to see her. Oh, my God, to see her. I actually she had a, brilliant. My mother in law, Miss Samara from Pierce oh, Park, was oh, a far, yeah, she used to read tea leaves. I remember you telling me that. And they used to come, the nurses out of St. Alfred's used to come down the whole time for her tea leaves. She was only cotton. But they believed her, like. They, yeah. Whatever way she'd see in the cup, and they'd be, they'd come down every day to get the, so many, you know, different people every day. And she was related to you, was she? She was my mother in law. Oh. She was my mother in law. But um, we used to be hunting today, oh, here's all the nurses in there. Yeah, Cross her pounds. hands with silver, a few bob. You know, but they believed her, but I never believed and her. No, I'm very skipped. Any of those other old ones like that where <coughs> people believed in kind of strange things like that people don't believe in now? You know, like... Well, we had the, the white nun and the nurse. Oh, the white nun, we were terrified of her. Yeah, terrified of the, or the banshee from down to comb on the ground. It was in the old, the old part of the earth yeah. and there used to be an art room at the top. And... I would never, I used to be terrified of the yeah. way now. When you'd be in the St. Anne, this is the oldest building. Yeah. And we used to be always in there. Oh, the way now. Art. Oh, so used to be terrified. There's a story about a white nun that, that appears. Oh, yeah. oh, that went on for years in the earth sign. It was oh, in St. Anne's, and the really old older, building. I used to be terrified. And then uh, I live next to an arch, and in the, sometime in the night time, the shape of the arch, when the moon had catch it or a light had catch it, it would look like a white nun. Yeah. Petrified. And then somebody would say, I saw the white nun, I, I saw her. But you hear the banshee last night. Oh, you believe her, lads. Yeah, you're yeah. terrified. My father would say, John, go down that road and you have to come in now because the banshee is down the road. We all <laughs> <laughs> run it up. But even our kids, my grandchildren now, they're still talking about the white nun. Yeah. Yeah. So it still goes on. Oh, it still goes oh, on. it does, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. just petrifying. Yeah. You'd be terrified. And what about the church and all that? Because, I mean, at that time, the church was powerful. Oh, it was, yeah. Everybody went to... Mass oh, you yeah, had to go to that. mass. But, but, yeah. And there was a procession out here too, wasn't there? It was great. Every um, Corpus Christi. Yeah. Um, we'd walk from the church. The priests, of course, they'd all have this big. Um, I still remember red velvet canopy, mm. and all the the clergy would walk up ahead of us, and anyone had a communion dress. Yeah, the walk communion behind. Dress. And, yeah, the, but yeah. all they used to walk into the square in John's Park, but the whole way from the church up, everyone would have these white sheets in their window with a statue of the Holy Mary or the or or our Lord and the flowers. And we used to go up to the haunted like, house and rob the the, the lilac. The, the lilac. Tree li- up that's there. right, yeah, and rob all the lilac. Oh, lilac put in the your windows. mother's supposed to run up there to the haunted house and get a bit of lilac for us, and you put it into. Uh, with, uh, with Milk yeah. bottles, there were no vids. I mean, don't we're up and up all the daffodils. Yeah. That was the majors. And where was the haunted house? 
just up just the back of John's the, Park. Up the back of the, men, the St. Otterns. Oh, just, uh, yeah. They used to call it the Haunted House. There was not much up there. There wasn't. Yeah, there wasn't, no. But you weren't scared of that. I wouldn't go up on my own. No, I wouldn't try. <laughs> and there used to be a, a moving church. Do you remember the moving church out in Clure, the church? I think it's still there, actually. There used to be an old, oh, hundreds of years, this old building at the corner of, of, of a field yes, up by Mary yes, Nolan's. Yes, yeah. And we'd be terrified. we said that was over there last week and it's there this week. It's but a graveyard. The thing was there it was a famine graveyard. It was in the famine graveyard. And we, were out, we went out and we cleaned the graveyard another time with famine the youth club. Famine graveyard, yeah. Cleaning down this graveyard. Absolutely terrified. Hundreds of years old. I think that's it still the there famine. too. It was, it was the, the famine, famine up graveyard. Up by Johnville. Just up there by and the John, whole, Every it? child in John's Park got cleaned this <gasps> graveyard. And we were running in the road then terrified. The, the, the white nun was running after us when you think of it. Don't stand there, you get a dead man's pinch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> A dead, a dead man's, man's pinch. <laughs> if you stood out, you used to try to get around it. So you won't stand it. on a grave. If you stand on the grave, you get a dead man's pinch. <laughs> oh, they were great old days. Yeah, there were children, not children and all that buried up there, weren't they? Oh, they were, yeah. yeah. They were clean. They were, they were wire brush. Wire brush. Yeah. Cleaning this that. graveyard. From the youth, we did it from the youth club for, oh, for the whole of the summer one time. Yeah. We were up there every day. And speaking of... Uh, <coughs> Children and stuff like that. Do you remember, or would you be before your time, the Good Shepherd Congress? Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Do you have yeah. any stories about yeah. that? Or? We had a girl in our class, Penny Duggan. She's, she died after. Uh, from the Good Shepherd Convent. Made it too, yeah. And Mrs. Sheeby used to take her out every Christmas. Ah. And I remember when she made her confirmation, poor Penny, um, I had to give her under my blazer to take. Jesus, they had an awful life. They did, yeah. Those kids were treated like, you know, we weren't treated the best in the arsenal, but those kids were treated. Yeah, they were, they were. horrible were to the them. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and then, you, 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 before you go to school, you get, you get a big bowl of porridge to fill you up, but if you didn't finish it, you were going into the orphanage. You were going into the Good you Shepherds. You go to the Good Shepherds, yeah. we used to say. That's oh, that the was end a of great the Good But they still, I still say well, they it still to ours. Yeah. <laughs> you go to the Good yeah. Shepherds. Yeah. yeah. But they, 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 them kids, they had a horrible old time in they the arsenal. Oh, God, they did. They did. That helped. They were lovely. I, there was a girl yeah. in my class as well. Um, it was actually a girl. I Violet, didn't know her. Violet O'Sullivan yeah, married. She great. married to John's Park. Um, yeah. Married to Anthony Barry. Yeah, that's Johns right. Park. She's a lovely Violet. girl. Violet works, uh, used yeah. to work at the hospital with us. Poor kids. They, mm. they really did have a tough meal. The nuns weren't very nice to them. Oh, so God, they weren't. They're they're not, no, no. It's terrible. But then there was also a place in there for women as well, wasn't there? Like, it wasn't just children, it was another place for women. Yeah, there was, I think, but I, yeah, there was, actually. Women. Yeah, Fallen yeah. Women. I remember reading yes. a book on it. There was a book women. out on that, and I read it. Fallen Women, when you think of it. Yeah, I sure, they were just put into the mental. They were not yeah. harmful, they were yeah. put into that. And speaking of which, what was it like for you as, as young girls out here? Were you expected to do all the housework and all the conversion? Oh, we wouldn't be left just well, at the door. I, I was definitely wrong. I have no house. sisters, I was an only girl. Sure, I... I just have to the dustbins and all the boys just be looking at me. Yeah. <laughs> my mother be saying, but they're them dustbins. What about the boys? Yeah. Leave them alone. My mother, Always, was, my yeah. mother would have told you. She was a real boys' mother. I used to get the hammer down the boys' clothes. Yeah. <laughs> so the girls were expected to do all the work. Yeah. And the yeah. boys were... Be left, I remember going out on a Saturday, you get you get a few Bob Pocket money and we say to my father, can we have her? I don't know what it was, maybe equivalent to 10 pence today. Yeah. Get um, and you wouldn't be left outside the door on a Saturday until every part of the house was yeah. scrubbed. You'd have dusters, you have lino all over the house, and we used to put dusters rags on our feet, feet, going up and down the hall. I used to have the brass on the, the brasso, knockers, the the knockers door. of the doors. Yeah. Um, mm. My father says, your mother's day off today now. Yeah. So it's my mother won't be left you a thing I on I used to have to do it on my own, but you yeah. had sisters. <laughs> yeah, we had sisters to do it. <laughs> and that's how you, you wouldn't get your pocket money the Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, God, no, you wouldn't. You had to earn your pocket money. Yeah, and rightly so. So it was good for the boys, or it was good, uh, system. The boys, the boys loved, they had a great uh, time out playing I football did, every day. But sure, come here. See, my, we had, I had five, si four sisters, five, five girls, but we were kind of grown up. My father and mother had a second family. So I think I was 16 when my brother was born. So yeah. we kind of re didn't really yes. see how soft the boys had it. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, the you girls know, were we the were older. kind of nearly grown up and married again. The, the two lads were... Mm you know, came of age. Um, <coughs> can you remember any other older characters from way back when they were children in St. John's Park? Um, 
Well, you had Nanny Rowe, you had Johnny Robert X. Paddy Fleming lived next door to us, that used to own the pub. The pub in the Glen and Kathleen, they had one son, Eddie. We were 375, they were 374 for years and years. But, and then as we got, when I got older, then I used to go into Paddy Fleming's pub and he used to, he was a lovely man, he used to be at sea, he was a sailor. But he used to bring back lovely stuff and always look after my mother. Really, really nice. Even though he had the pub, he would go off work? And no, he bought the pub and then oh. they moved out okay. and the Colfers moved in. Tom Colfer, my mother. Tom Colfer, they used to get, Tom would get paid one day and my mother, they'd give my mother a loan of ten shillings and my mother gave it back to Tom then the following day. I mean, nobody knew in the end who owned the ten shillings. Ten shillings, yeah. Were back, which was going over and back over the fence yeah. every day. But you come here, yeah, Tom. But there was a ragged yeah. bone man used to come around, you yeah. could still see him. And I remember one time, myself and my sister, my mother used to go to the hairdresser, Dan McGrath's, on a Saturday yeah, morning. Yeah, yeah. And the rag and bone man came. Sure, we were up looking for clothes and we gave him two good ponchos. <laughs> Belonged to ourselves. And we got these little charm braces, little braces that you'd slap them, they'd break off. When my mother came back, we so said, we got these off the rag and bone man. She said, what did you give him? We gave him two ponchos that were upstairs. Where did you get them knitted for some? Brand new ponchos. We had to run all over John's <laughs> Park looking for this rag and bone man and beg him for the ponchos back. We had to give him back the braces. Chips were on. We wanted the braces for the ponchos. <laughs> then you had another old fella. Uh, like a forty coast fellow used to come around and sharpen, sharpen the, the knives, knives and, scissors. and fixing the umbrellas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember him? I do. Yeah. My mother had a dinner one day. I never forget it. And he knocked at the door. He used to not go. And Danny, my brother, wanted to eat his dinner. So my mother brought him in. He said, "Me buy for your dinner," and gave him Danny's dinner because Danny wanted to eat his dinner. And forever he used to say, "Please, please, don't let me eat off of the gypsy's plate." <laughs> <laughs> or do you remember the gypsies? They used to have the real old-fashioned caravans. Yeah, yeah. With the yeah. horse, and they used to, um, every summer, they'd come and Where Johnville is now, that's where they used to... Yes, right, across the road there. Just come down to the arches to play the little gypsy children. The smell of campfire yeah. when you'd be going out the road for going a walk off the gypsies. Yeah. You'd be half right there. and they'd run away. Every to... year for years. Mm. I think one of the families name were the Wards, if I can still remember them. There was Mary and Margaret Ward just come down to the arches to play. Two little blondie little ones. I don't remember them now. Yeah, really. they used to be. Well, you see, you lived up at the top that yeah. we were here that, yeah. you know. The gypsies. What about the uh, hairdressers? Where, where was the hairdressers? Um, Anne McGrath, there was only one hairdresser and she okay. did everyone's hair. Old was, women's, was to that, young that, children. There was another woman though, where did across from the candy? Well, that was um, Mrs. Um, for, not Forlong. I used to go there to uh, heart. Fanning. Mrs. Fanning. Mary Fanning. Yeah. Across the road from yeah, the I used to go store. down to get my hair cut off. Well, you were posh then because she was due dear for us. Was she there? Was she dear? She was, yes. yeah. Anne McGrath was. <gasps> what you only got it done maybe yeah. once every five years. Tell us about Anne McGrath anyway. What was she like? Anne was lovely. Oh, uh, her, her son, she's a beautiful looking son, Tyke. And he got killed outside the Tower Hotel, I think, one night. Built for bus. I think I remember that. Do you remember that? Tyke? Yeah, I do. She was, was lovely. lovely. She had two sons, Tyke and I can't remember. Her husband, Tim. They were a lovely family. They had a, she, had a, she had a garage next to the house and she had her hairdresser shop in there. Nolan Ryan from John's Park. That's, that's the posh served. area now. That's that John's Village. That, that was John's Village. John's Village. That's where the posh people used was to be. Nolan Ryan in John's Park. Um, I went to school with Nolan. She served her time as a hairdresser down there. She's still going around John's Park, Nolan, doing the old yeah. people's yeah. She's still going around on a Friday or a Saturday doing people that can't come out, I suppose. Set. Under here. Set. Anne was lovely. She was a lovely yeah, lady, yeah. yeah. She was one of the McGraths, the milk, they used to do the milk. That's who Anne was. Anne McGrath was her only. Lovely. Then the Spencers used to come with the milk, remember? On the side. Uh, yeah, that's used to right. Come yeah. the milk money, my mother yeah. used to say, Tell him I'm not here. Yeah, but she looked with Ross at that. <laughs> tell him I'll see you next week. <laughs> mother said to tell you she's not here. <laughs> <laughs> Did you miss me last week? No, not a bit, boy. <laughs> 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 oh, listen, but everything yeah. then was um, you get a book in dials. Mother used to have a book in dials. You yeah. go in it and you'd get, get everything and it's chopping you'd need and you'd put it down the book. But then you get dividends every Christmas for the more you spend, you get a few pounds back. You might get a tin of biscuits or a few selection yeah. boxes. But when you deal, mother's ideal, ideal in dials, ideal in dials, my mother used to always say. I remember Marion Fitzgerald's mother dealt in dials and I went around with Marion. And we'd be only start to smoke at that stage, we'd buy ten fags. And Marion used to get ten fags on the book. But sure, her mother never knew. And she used to pay once a month the book. And sure, when it came to pay the once a month, there was more to be. Jobs got killed over the fags. I'd have to buy ten fags every day. 
<laughs> I never smoked. I was one of the good ones. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm just trying to think now. Is there anything else from the cover? Um, what about sorry? What about where did you go for entertainment when you were like teenagers and getting up into say 18, 19? Where did you go? Club. Yeah, and the Cash Cash Twenty One or something down at the Artery. Yeah, the Artery used to be great on a Saturday night. Yeah, you'd go up to the, you'd have a um, you'd have a flag and a cider yeah. up, up, up up the knock. That's right. The, Jeff. Uh, before we go into there. Before you head off. Before, before you head <laughs> off. A flag and a cider for pretty about fifteen of you. Yeah, out for each. Come out for each. And Joe used to say, my brother Joe used to say, I'm telling Mammy, you were drinking. Yeah. <laughs> and I'd have to give him a couple of bobs to keep his mouth shut. <laughs> yeah. Blackmail. Yeah. And, and, and then you'd head into town to, uh, you said, the Olympia, was it? The Olympic, they do yeah, City Club, it's called then. Oh, okay. Yeah, Dickie yeah, Rock, a big uh, red Harley. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, we saw all those bass hitter the, the, up the, the artery. The, the, um, um, the Indians. The Indians. <coughs> um... Oh, was, there was quite a, we saw a lot of... Yeah, but there must be some good, good ones, yeah. yeah. And then, of course, the in the middle of the town, you had, you had Egan's and you had uh, the old stand. Yeah, you had a lot... The, the show, yeah. but you used to be great. You could follow Simon on a Thursday night and then go out to Tremor to see him on a Friday night. And, um, and sorry, even just to remind me of something else there. Um, I know we mentioned before about the, the trip to Butlins. Oh, Mrs. Hayes. Mrs. Hayes, yeah. Going down every week and giving her a few bob off. Yeah, yeah, we did, yeah. yeah. You just go picking strawberries. Mrs. Hayes just to organise that. You'd be gone all day. Your back would be broke. And you might get your wages in the end of... And, and, and never forget, you'd be all day picking these strawberries. All for hours in these fields up in Wexford. Yeah, remember? you just get busted. And you'd get your wage, couldn't wait to get your wages at the end of the week. A couple of bob at the end of the wages. <laughs> yeah. Our mothers used to be just so delighted to get rid of get rid of the street. I used to yeah. work, I used to go to Earls then to pick that's black tomatoes. Horns. That was the yeah, black we used to go to Earls. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All Johns Park people used to be out there. Oh, that's all. Yes. All Johns Park. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Out past Jack. I think yeah. they used to own Jack Eaton stores at the time. Didn't they, they did, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Mrs Hayes was great for on a bus just to bring us to to um. Butlins every year. Yeah. Oh, she's and you go down. She had a little book, and you go down and give her a few bob. Yeah. To go to Butlins. She's only from Mrs. Hayes, we wouldn't have gone anywhere. No, never, but, and then there used to be a bus bring us to Tremor every Tremor, Sunday morning. Yeah. yeah. Um, bus pick you up at O'Regan's and bring all that. All, every yeah. family in the nation used to go. There used to be four or five buses yeah. go. We were lucky. In, you know, my father bought a car. I suppose we were lucky at that, in a, in a sense, at that time in Johns Park. We were very young. But my father, it finished work in Clover Meats at, say, five o'clock, and we all wait in the hall for him to come home to bring us to Tremor. And he'd be in and out and in and everyone's out child. Tremort with everyone's child. He must have done ten journeys yeah. in every evening. We'd and go, back in, yeah, back in, in and, and out. out. The shirt was home. next door and then he'd bring them out and then he'd come in for someone else and bring them out and then in. I don't think the man ever sat on the beach. He was doing... <laughs> I, I used to bring him then yeah. when, I, when I was older. When obviously I had my own children. I don't know how I used to do it. I used to have about 20 children in, in a car. car. And that's... Yeah. I'm only going back probably... 20 years, yeah. 15 years. Oh, you did, you're brave to do oh, that I, then. anybody's child that would be working. Yeah. I used to just work 8 to 11 on the hospital at that time. And I'd be knocking to any poor child that their mother fell be working. Yeah. I'd say, come on, we'll go off to Woodstown. Yeah. I wouldn't bring him to try more because I'd have to spend, spend money, money on it. have yeah. It'd have to be a farty blast yeah. for all the children. And like, I mean, also, I mean, Warfield was very different to when you were children, wasn't it? In the actual city. Oh, it was, yeah. Do you remember what it was like? I mean, that was totally different then. Johnny Hearns on the key, we used to get by the rope for the swing and that. Remember, Kat? Or do you remember Hearns on the key? Yeah. You used to have, when you go in, your mother to have a book and you'd have to go in with the money, you'd put it into this little thing yeah. and to go up all along oh, these wires. Make all this... Still remember yeah, that look and at Santa used to be there every Christmas. Santa used to be there the every Christmas. Christmas. Santa ever saw my life. But the, 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 the money went to the city thing and yeah. up all these wires up We're to the office. making all these clicky noises yeah. going along. I remember that. Or you'd be given, go in to get the groceries in, in Darrow's and you'd be given the bus money to go in and the bus money to come home, but you never got the bus, you always spent oh, the money. Oh, I used to spend the money and, and yeah. Yeah, you'd have all that. carriages, then you'd have Louis Lip. Do you remember yeah. him? And what was the other little fella? He used to sell the, the, the windmills. Yeah. What was the other little fella? He was up in the mental. He used to be with Louis Lip. What was his name? Little bald man. Oh, oh, I know him. I remember know. him. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a photograph of him on the end of the bunker sale, aren't they? Then you had That's Johnny Tower, keep it clean now, keep it clean now, <laughs> go to all the discos. And, and there was a lot of it all. Yeah, the, it, oh, the city's completely different now. Yeah. Completely different. The pubs are completely different, yeah.
Yeah. What was your first pub choice in one? I went into, I was about, my father was very strict on us. There was five girls and it's only years after he said to us, I had to be strict. I had to have some sort of mm. control over five daughters. And we had to be in before 10 o'clock in the night. And if you weren't in, the door would be locked, but you'd have to knock the door so we'd know exactly what it. time. Mm. You can't say I was in at 10, no you weren't. Yeah. But the first time I ever drank was in um, the Royal Bar in by the park and I never drank I was terrified to drink because my father was so strict and someone had a perno I remember thinking oh god that don't taste like alcohol or don't it's not you won't get and I drank it. five or six of those pernos and of course I forgot the time and when I came out of the Royal Bar I was so sick <laughs> we came out by the infirmary and at the mansion I was getting sick outside the mansion with Marion Fitzgerald again and when I looked here was my father across the road in the car he never said that to me, just did that. He never spoke to me, never said a word to me, just said... Which was worse, you better off getting a puck. Go up to bed. Well, I wasn't allowed outside that door for months and months after. Uh. And as always, he'd say, I'm disgusted with you. If you'd got a belt up and I look at the belt, he'd never give you a belt. Yeah. I'm disgusted That's with worse, you. yeah. But, um, I yeah, used to hear, I think he was, was John Brady there. No, John is Oh, gone. I'm glad he's gone because I was only 17. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, first yeah, yeah. My mother used to clean Brady's. My mother used yeah. to clean. John was the first person I ever knew to have a colour television. And myself and my brother used to come down here and watch uh, The Pink Panther every day at five o'clock. John would give us about lemonade for his children and a pack yeah. of crisps. Just to see the colour television. The excitement of this colour television. Yeah. Mm. Uh, he was very good, very, very good to the locals. Oh, John Brady was out on his own. Um, I mean, I, I worked for him for years, but um, mm. absolutely great people. Great people to everyone in John's family. Every single person. Actually, my daughter's working Brady's now. My mother used to clean it in, mm-hmm. the, I think it must have been maybe the 70s, maybe late 60s. They were absolutely great. I remember people knocking at the door there and John would say, leave him upstairs, Kate. And you'd know there'd be people with nothing. Yeah, and he'd and be, be looking be. after him and no one would ever oh, know. Yeah, I know. No, it was really Held decent man. Own. Yeah. There was Jackie O'Regan was the same. Yeah. Nobody's oh, yeah. ever. Tell me the story about Jackie O'Regan's one. Jackie, I worked in Jackie O'Regan's um, for years and, and I was off the same night, but uh, Jackie opened a box of bananas in the back of the shop and Peary Power the driver was at the shop. He was kind of I suppose a bouncer. Yeah. Never got paid. He was great friends with Jackie, but all the owners in John's Park were terrified of Beery. He never did anything to anyone, he just danced us. And he was like it was big, he was like a ten man. time version of Popeye, the sailor man. That's exactly what he always had an iron jumper on him, the bald head and the pipe. Always. And uh, Jackie was in the shop. I actually think Ninny Reed was there the same night. Mm. And he opened a box of bananas and Jackie really died at the fright of the snake crawled out of the box of bananas and Peary heard Jackie scream <laughs> in Peary went big Peary got the snake but they had to get someone from some place to come out and get the snake was poisonous like that's the second snake what about Dennis's snake Dennis Reed another Dennis Reed got um, a suite of furniture off of someone <laughs> a, or chair. a chair and he decided that he, he, oh, something happened you could feel something in his chair and he brought it out to the front garden he and, he, and, he and he chopped up the chair the snake I never thought the chair. That, whoever he got it off kept pet snakes <laughs> and Perty, Perty Flynn, another character over there, thought he was a great. He, I'll get the snake, I'll get the snake. Sure, he sold it to the pet shop. Yeah. Perty sold it then. My man came down looking for his snake. And Perty said, We killed it. We yeah. sold it. But he was another character, uh, Jackie O'Regan. He was, he, was, oh, he was a good man. He was good to the people. I remember Clover Meese going on strike one time, and um, Jackie O'Regan coming up to the door and saying to my mother and father, Look, Anything you want now, don't be short, come down yeah. to the shop and yeah, be good very man. good like that, Jackie O'Regan. Very good to people in John's Park. You know, it's sad to see O'Regan's going after all oh, them God, years. Oh, God, it's dreadful, sure. You know, it really was. Okay, is there anything you want to say before you come to the shop? Anything about anything? I'd say John's Park. No, I don't think that's it. Yeah. Absolute pleasure to have lived there all our life. Oh, yeah. and def- I'm I'm not I'm st- I'm not John's Park. I'm over St. I'm now. the same as I'm but in I, anybody asks me the area. anybody asks me where I'm from, I yeah. always say John's Park. Oh yeah, where do you live, John's Park? Yeah, same parish, but yeah. uh, we're in a different area. Yeah. Do you know? St. John's Park is bigger. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Is, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. 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 We always yeah. came home. Even my girls now, my girls would say they're from John's Park. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks very much. That was You're more than well.
We tried the old chat. Black cats. Just asking for black cats. Black cats. Just tadpoles. We used to go collect, collect the tadpoles. It was just yeah. like a little pond. There used to be a family called um, the Nolans. And that a girl, it was always called Mary Nolans because the daughter was Mary Nolan. She was our age. Yeah. And they used to have a tie. It's huge. They, uh, what do you call it? It's Hayes has bought the house after. And it's a huge house out there now. But Mary Nolans was only a tiny little cottage. Yes, I remember it, yeah. And they had a little bridge with, with you have to kind of climb down into this muck Just and the, dirt, dirt, and dirt, dirt to get pond. black caps. Sit on the wall at Mary Nolan's when you were courting. You'd walk out for as Mary Nolan's with your fella, whoever. You'd have the bottle of water. Yeah. Out the, the, the airport road. Yeah. 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 Out the airport yeah. road. But you saw the houses out there now, and you know, that was all country. All stuff. field. Uh, that's where a swimming pool out in, out in the majors was our swimming pool. Mm. We went out there at one time, a crowd of girls, all the fellas were out to cycling at Woodstown. So we said we'd go out to Mary Nolan's. Or out to Major Out to Major Crews for a swim. And we all went out and you didn't have bathing togs or anything. So we swam in our underwear. And when we got out, all our clothes were gone. And I was in an office <laughs> yesterday, and my father's going to kill me. How am I going to walk in John's Park with no clothes on? <laughs> but when we got into the end of John's Park, here was all the clothes hanging out. There was a tree. The uncle is about to. So we were safe. The uncle is about to come in from Woodstown and robbing all the clothes. And robbing all. I think that was the last time I ever went swimming out there. <laughs> oh, listen. Yeah, great old times, great days.